Hello everyone. This campaign is for an online event and I'm wondering if it may just kind of be all over the place and confusing to you so let me try to simplify it. Um, it's similar <clears throat> to the local event that I did last month. At the beginning you're at promoting your online event through Facebook and Twitter and your website and you're directing everyone uh, using a bit.ly link or some sort of a shortened link over to this landing page. You're also wanting to notify your existing list of the online event so I would go through my list and choose who I wanted to get it, tag them and then uh, drop them into this sequence right here, sending them emails and asking them to click a link that basically just says yes I'd like to attend and then they're dropped into the event reminders along with the people who have visited the landing page and um, signed up. The people who have who visit the landing page are also sent the email confirmation request where you're asking them to sign up uh, to confirm their email address. They receive the confirmation email once they sign up and then the day before the event they receive uh, a reminder. And all I did, you see these green uh, note boxes down here? These, um, this campaign came straight from the marketplace and I just modified it. So if you want to go, you come up here to where it says marketplace and when you click this, I'll just show you if it'll open quick enough, there's, they've got like 20 or 30 different campaigns that you can download. See that? So you just download it and it's automatically added to your app. And it's a great place to start so that, you know, number one, it's got content in it. Like inside these event reminders, that all these emails have contact to them. And so it, it's got this set up for you. Nothing is set to ready though. You have to go through and set everything to ready. Okay, so they get the event reminders. They either attend the webinar or they do not attend. If they attend the webinar, and there are different types of webinars, so this campaign is assuming that you're selling something at the event. So they attend the event, they buy at the event, and then you're, you drop them into a newsletter follow-up. Okay, they attend the event, they do not buy at the event, and so after the event you would drop them into some sort of a sequence where you educate them about the offer, maybe confirm some details that you gave during the webinar. Uh, you know, people's minds wander, they're multitasking when they're on webinars, and just kind of go back over it again and go back over the offer, and this is also good if they leave early and they uh, they don't hear your offer. So during all this education that you're doing, you also have a link where they can click to learn more. And if they click that, then you are notified with a task on your dashboard that they have become a, they've sh shown interest, they've lifted their hand, and it's time for you to do some sort of personalized follow-up with them, especially the larger the offer, the more personalized follow-up you would want to do. And uh, if they did not attend, uh, you know, you have a no-show sequence. You know, sorry you couldn't make it. Uh, here's what we talked about. Shoot them over into this sequence and try to, to see if you can sell them even though they did not attend. Now this is all assuming that you're using GoToWebinar, which is what a large majority of people use and go to webinar and the event reminder uh, emails they're going to have a unique link to that person so that you know uh, that they attended and you're able to drop them into these sequences there's um, if you've been in infusions off circles for very long you've heard of six division and they were at infusion con and they participated in the Battle of the Apps with something called Plus This. And Plus This does a lot of things. Um, and I should have their web page open so I could show you, but I don't. 
Hang on a second. Okay, here it is. This is the plus this page, and it see how it does video tracking? This is why I'm talking about it right now, because what it can do for you, um, you can track, if they leave after five minutes, you could send them a very different message that you would send to the people who watch to the end. A lot of uh, presenters save their very best offers for the people who are interested enough to stay till the end. So, you know, if they only watched half, you would send them a different message. If they uh, left just before the offer, the beauty of the Plus This app uh, that integrates with Inside Infusionsoft is you decide, you know, what is important to you. And it also is a way to track uh, your, your content and what you're talking about. If you get five to seven minutes into it, and half your people drop off, then you know that what you're saying at five to seven minutes isn't very important and you're losing them. So again, this is, uh, you know, it changes dates, it sends texts, and here's your go-to webinar connection. It customizes thank you page, it does all kinds of math. Um, anyhow, just take a look at that. So, um, let's see, did I finish? Okay, we always, I think the last thing, we always want to keep keep the, keep us on their minds. So that's why if you're not going to do a, a newsletter, put all of these people into something that you can send them things that they want, things that will be interested. Don't bombard them, but, you know, help them, send them helpful things tips like Jay Bear's uh, utility book that's coming out in June of 2013. Try to be useful to them. Okay, that's it. Thank you.